Hi, and welcome to a new episode of Tiny Prefab Houses. Today, we'll visit four tiny houses located in several continents. Before we start, please subscribe and turn on the bell button to get the latest updates about new videos. As always, glad to have supporters. Meet Nature Villa by B210 Architects. Tiny Getaway House offers its visitors to take time off and experience comfort and peace at the same time. It's situated on the premises of an old manor, allowing the visitor to experience different historical buildings and the picturesque natural landscape. The house is built around the existing birch trees without causing them any harm. Elevated one meter above the ground and driven deep into the soft soil on seven meter long screws. There's a terrace where you can catch the morning sun, a layered rooftop to enjoy the sunset and watch the stars. The surrounding area is home for many bird species, so the house also acts as a bird watching tower. During spring, the whole area gets flooded by the nearby river, so the only way to get to the nature villa is across the elevated boardwalk. The whole house is covered in wood. Its facade, roof, and terraces are clad in one monolith material to give the house one outstanding body. Thermo Ash was chosen because of its beautiful deep color and durability to changing weather conditions. The interior of the house perfectly fits all the amenities needed for a small but luxurious hotel room. There's an entrance with space for both luggage and clothes, a kitchen counter for morning tea or coffee, plus a mini bar. The living room hosts a king-size bed, a comfy lounge with soft pillows and a fireplace. The visitors can enjoy a cozy fire with panoramic views of the surrounding bog landscape. The bathroom with floor-to-ceiling mirrors is equipped with a large shower and an incinerating toilet. To keep the interior as simple as possible, only few materials are used. Thermo ash for the floor and ceiling, micro cement for the entrance and bathroom, and black infinity laminate for the bed head. All the furniture is custom made. The tiny bedroom can have different layouts, one big bedroom, or the room can also be separated with the curtain into two rooms, a bedroom and a small extra room next to the fireplace with sofas, Small sofas can also be used as an extra bed for a child. Everything was measured to create a small yet comfortable space for a perfect private getaway. Next, we visit Bruni Island Hideaway by McGuire and Divine Architect. Can you imagine living without chairs or a sofa? Dr. Sophia Shi recommends it. She grew up in Taiwan in a Japanese-style house that gave her an appreciation for highly crafted minimalist design and the ability to happily sit cross-legged at a low table, eating, working, and reading. For her dream cabin, she set her sights on wild Bruni Island off the southeastern coast of Tasmania. And after acquiring 99 acres of land, mostly conservation forest, she approached architects about designing it. The cabin is completely off-grid and as such the cabin collects its own rainwater, is powered by photovoltaics and heated by a wood fire oven while gas provides hot water and cooktop cooking. The interior is just over 300 square feet or 28 square meter. Light-colored timber walls, floor and ceiling create a warm cozy sense of enclosure referencing not only Japanese architecture but remote wilderness cabins from all over the world, creating a real sense of otherness and escape. When Sophia has guests, they camp in tents on the property and use the cabin as the gathering spot. The entrance pergola creates storage for a gas bottle and firewood, as well as a screen for cars, but more than this, it creates a threshold from everyday life. Along with the freestanding pergola, the use of underground water tanks allows the cabin to sit as an object in the landscape uncluttered. The bathroom has a secret door onto the north deck for the experience of showering almost outside, allowing the bathroom to act as a mudroom and for access by campers without interrupting the cabin sleepers. The gas heaters are concealed in the kitchen cupboards, as is a washing machine. Batteries under the floor store solar energy collected on the roof and used to power the lights and water pump. The only furniture allowed was a low table and a mattress on the sleeping loft. With long views to the south and tall trees to the north, the cabin opens onto an east and west deck, capturing morning and afternoon sun while affording views to the south. A high roof allowed solar panels and a skylight to catch sun from over the trees. 
Let's have a look at gateway cabins spread across North America to give city dwellers the chance to unwind and unplug, all without a Wi-Fi network in sight. Tiny homes are part of a growing movement among the world-weary to downsize or live a simpler existence. Getaway offers the experience of a tiny home, but only for as many nights as you're willing to pay for. Getaway isn't simply selling a night in a house in the woods, it's selling an experience. One of Getaway's most talked about and photographed features is its big window design with a bed placed right next to the window. The concept is to sleep in nature. One can go to bed gazing up at the night sky and then wake up with the sun. This emphasis on being close to nature is echoed with the use of natural building materials. Getaway cabins use wood, glass, and some metal but for gold plastics and composites. The eastern white pine is stained a natural color that's meant to blend in with the environment. The cabin size is essential to the experience. Getaway offers two-person and four-person homes that come with a bed or two for sleeping, a table for eating, a kitchenette with a mini fridge and two stove burner, and a bathroom with a toilet and hot water shower. Outdoors, there's a fire pit, picnic table, and chairs. Let's have a look at Space of Mind by Studio Puisto Architect. Space of Mind is a modern cabin that acts as a dedicated space to think, recharge, and unwind somewhere where we can find our own peace of mind. Through a modular system, Space of Mind can serve as anything from a spare bedroom to a gym to a home office with the flexibility to be placed nearly anywhere in the world. As a concept, Space of Mind was initially developed in response to the ongoing pandemic. With many of us now spending significantly more time at home than ever before, our collective notion of a home away from home needed to be redefined to fit our newly limited range for travel. No matter whether it's placed in a backyard, rooftop terrace, or even the nearby forest, Space of Mind acts as a spatial solution that fosters a similar experience, just without leaving home. The outer wooden structure acts as a blank slate while the interior is adjustable to individual preferences, creating a space that can manifest into a gym for one and into a home office for another. Within the overall modular system, the custom furniture attaches to the wooden structure on rungs, giving the freedom to tailor the space as desired over time. The overall architectural footprint of Space of Mind comes in at just under 10 square meters. Space efficient and compact, a guiding emphasis within the design was to similarly express how even a minimal space with only the essentials can offer us the headspace to enjoy what matters most. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe and turn on the bell to hear about our latest videos if you haven't done so yet. Stay tuned.